Hello and welcome to this brief healthcare tutorial, Understanding HIPAA Omnibus Rule. From HIPAA Made Easy, today we'll discuss what is Omnibus. Now HIPAA Made Easy is a web education company providing HIPAA training, products, manuals, electronic forms, and webinars, plus videos on CD-ROM. We teach on HIPAA regulations. Please note that we are providing this as a public service for the healthcare community. HIPAA Made Easy offers instructions on understanding and implementing HIPAA protocols for the healthcare facility. We are not attorneys, nor do we offer legal advice. For legal advice, HIPAA Made Easy suggests you work with an attorney specializing in HIPAA law. If you're interested in purchasing any of our products or services after this video, we ask that you do so by visiting one of our websites. We have our products for sale on Amazon, HIPAAMadeEasy.net, HIPAAOmnibusRule.com, and DentalEnhancements.com. Now, what is Omnibus Rule? Well, Omnibus, by definition, is a volume containing several novels or previously published parts. That's exactly what HIPAA Omnibus Rule is. It's a complete overall of the existing HIPAA law to ensure that patient protected information, or PHI, within the United States healthcare system has an intensified security matrix. It was enacted on January 17, 2013 by the United States Department of Health and Human Services, and it becomes effective March 26, 2013. You should have all of your protocols in place and all of your employees trained by then. Who will HIPAA Omnibus touch? Well, the PHI compliance is far reaching. Of course, covered entities like doctors, healthcare providers, health plans, and health clearing houses always have had to protect patient health information. Now, with HIPAA Omnibus, new confidentiality agreements for business associates need to be signed to the HIPAA Omnibus model. They will hold business associates like labs, collection agencies, confirmation services, internet techs, consultants, clearinghouses, even unsupervised after-hour services need to sign a business associate agreement that is up to omnibus standard. Now, if you have an old one on file, you'll have to get the new model and have all business associates sign a new business associate contract. And guess what? Business associates are going to have to have their subcontractors, any independent contractors, sign these confidentiality agreements as well. What's all this talk about protected health information? Well, there's about 18 different protected health identifiers that are commonly used during the course of business in any healthcare facility. You'll see on the left side of your screen, we use number one through 10 very commonly, and your business may use number 11 through 18 frequently as well. Remember, business associates are going to need to get and sign their own subcontractors agreements. They have to keep these on file, they have to know not to share PHI, and you'll have to ask business associates to sign new business associate agreements to Omnibus Rule Standard by September of either this year or next year. Now business associates are going to be held accountable for the same security policies and comply with all HIPAA rules and regulations. They're even going to have to respond to breaches in PHI. If there's a compromise where some of the patient information has leaked, they're gonna to have to report that to the Department of Health and Human Services. Now don't think you can share your business associates agreement with your business associates. Theirs will be written a little differently and we have them available for any business associates seeking a business associate agreement for their subcontractors. Just direct them to HIPAA Made Easy. Here's the requirements for covered entities. New marketing and fundraising rule changes. Here's the requirements for covered entities. There'll be new marketing and fundraising rule changes. You'll have to understand that patients have new ways and rights to obtain their electronic files. You'll have to have patients sign a new HIPAA acknowledgement form that will go for all patients, new and former patients. You'll have to have business associates sign a new business associate agreement, even if they signed one previously in your office. You'll need a copy of the new Notice of Privacy Practices that's up to date 
to Omnibus Rule Standard posted on your website if you have one and displayed within your office for patients to read these new set of rules. There is a whole new breach reporting system that you'll have to have in place in your office. Also, you'll have to have the link for when you need to report breaches. Breaches get reported for much less compromise in protected health information these days. And there's many various other protocols. So basically, that equates to a lot more paperwork. Yes, you'll have to have your employees sign new confidentiality agreements. The business associates sign new confidentiality agreements. They'll be having their subcontractors sign agreements as well. Within your office, you'll have to have your patients, all of them, sign new HIPAA patient acknowledgments and also give them a right to see the changes in omnibus rule on a new notice of privacy practices that you'll keep within your office and also post it on your website if you have one. There is a huge change in breach reporting. You'll have to have a plan, new breach assessment forms that you'll connect and email to a web link with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. That's your new reporting agency. Now, breaches get reported for very low compromise, so you'll have to learn what those rules are and set up a protocol for breaches and breach reporting in your office. The Omnibus Rule. It's 563 pages of law. Now, you could read it, understand it, implement it, teach your employees to understand it, and then have them explain it to your patients, but when would you practice medicine? You don't have to create all the contracts, forms, and assessments yourself. That would be a lot of work, and after all, this is HIPAA made easy. So we provide two tiers to your HIPAA compliance. One will be organizing your requirements. We help you do that by providing all the contracts that you'll need in electronic file format, and you can keep them on file. Two, by implementing policies and procedures in your office and keeping them documented in a HIPAA manual. We provide the training and forms on a very handy CD-ROM. You can re... You can watch the training over and over and access your forms from our CD-ROM. You'll be able to view, manipulate, customize all of the forms you'll need for the new HIPAA Omnibus Rule. We also suggest housing all of these documents in a new HIPAA manual that's up to Omnibus standards. If you ever have an inspection, this is the first thing that a HIPAA inspector is going to look for. What should your HIPAA manual contain? Well, it should list your HIPAA compliance officer and an advisory board that helps support efforts for HIPAA changes within your office to those new forms for your patients, the HIPAA patient acknowledgement form, all patients need to sign this, and a new copy of the Notice of Privacy Practices up to omnibus format. All employees will have to sign new confidentiality agreements, be trained on omnibus, and you'll have to have proof of that. New business associate agreements to omnibus standard. There is a new model. It would also contain former HIPAA rules like the red flag rule, if you'd like to have a fraud protection within your office, you must have high tech law that was required as of February 2010, and also your data backup and contingency plan for your office. If you need a new HIPAA manual, one is available at Amazon.com, HIPAAMadeEasy.net, HIPAAOmnibusRule.com, or DentalEnhancements.com. Remember, all of our training. Remember, all of our training Remember, all of our training and protocol packets are available to you by visiting our websites: Amazon, hippomadeeasy.net, hippomnibusrule.com, and dentalenhancements.com. Congratulations. You just had your first course in HIPAA Omnibus Rule. Now get smart and get HIPAA made easy. Thanks for joining me.